One of the best things about the end of the gardening season in most areas of the country means that it's also the end of the mowing season. Well, a lot of us simply put our mowers away and we don't think about them till next spring, but I'd like to encourage you to think about doing mower maintenance this fall before you put the mower away. Now, in my case, I have two mowers. I have my manual reel mower and my electric rotary mower. Maintaining the reel mower is actually really easy. All I do is turn on this hose and just spray it off a little bit, making sure that there's no grass caked on the outer casing around the tires. I want to spray off the rotary blades. And when I'm done spraying and it's dried off, I'm going to hit this with a little metal sealant. Now, see, the most important area to hit with the metal sealant is the blades themselves. So I'm just going to spray it now, even though it's not dry, just to show you. Just hit it with a nice coating of spray like that. That'll seal it off so that we don't get any rust this winter in case there's any moisture or humidity wherever you store your mower. Now on the electric mower, it's still easy to maintain compared to a gas mower. I'm going to hose this off, get any of the grass out of there. I don't have to worry about draining gas or spark plugs because in an electric mower, those things don't exist. So I simply turn this up like this. Now I know that my mower blade is actually still nice and sharp because I had it sharpened a couple of weeks ago. So I'm going to take my spray and just give this a nice spray off like that. Another good idea is to scrape off all this caked on grass. Now where this is plastic, I don't use the metal brush. If you have a metal undercasing, use a metal brush. I simply use a wood scraper and I just go along and get this grass off there. It's not absolutely necessary. It's probably not going to hurt anything, but it's pretty good mower maintenance. And then I'm going to hose that off because one thing is you can have diseases and insects and all that kind of creep in there if you leave it on the mower over the wintertime. And then the first time that you mow, if that's still on there next spring, that can cause problems. So it's a really good idea to clean it off this fall. Now, if you're one of those many people that still has a gas mower and you want to know how to maintain and winterize that mower, Roger Swain from our People, Places and Plants television show is going to show you how to go through the pointers. There is nothing more frustrating than a lawnmower that won't start in the spring. The secret of keeping your machine in perfect working order is to put it away the right way in the fall. Now, at the top of the list is running the lawnmower to dryness, completely out of fuel if you possibly can. If you can't do that, be sure to add gasoline stabilizer to the fuel you use. I add it to every tank that I buy. Without stabilizer, fuel left in the engine will gunk it up for sure. But almost as important is changing the oil. Before you do anything to an engine, however, the first thing is to unplug the spark plug for safety. Turn the machine upside down and I'll show you where the oil plug is. It's this square plug down here. And it's simply a matter of taking a wrench and loosening that nut until it comes off. Then slip an oil pan underneath, remove the plug completely, and let it all drain out. When the old oil is drained out, and you safely reinserted the oil plug, you can add fresh oil according to the manufacturer's recommendations. But be sure to dispose of the old oil properly. Don't dump it. Take it to your local recycling center or waste transfer station. Now that we've dealt with fuel and oil, it's time to turn our attention to the air filter. Now, some gasoline engines have foam element filters, and they need to be cleaned with hot, soapy water. This one simply has a paper element. You can see it's picked up a little bit of grass here. It's simply a matter of knocking it or brushing it off. You can also go to the hardware store and buy a replacement filter if you want. Then, simply a matter of reinserting it and screwing it back together. Just as important as an engine that runs is a blade that is sharp. A sharp blade makes a clean cut on the grass and a clean cut leads to a healthy lawn. Now to remove the blade, you need to first block the rotation of the blade. A piece of wood will do. And then with a socket wrench, just loosen that nut. <coughs> there we got it. Unscrew that. 
and we'll have the blade off in a jiffy. Don't want to lose the bolt. Now it's possible to sharpen a blade by hand. If you have a good vise, you can use a bastard mill file, but it's a whole lot faster to use one of these little motorized bench grinders. The goal is to preserve the existing bevel. Be sure to wear safety glasses, protect your eyes, because we're going to make sparks here. Now that I've got two nice, sharp, fresh edges, I'm just test balancing the blade on a nail to make sure that I haven't taken more metal off one end of the blade than the other. But before I reinstall the blade, I'm going to clean the underside of the mower. All this caked grass will just hasten rusting of the metal if I leave it there all winter. Tools of the trade, a putty knife, a wire brush, a screwdriver, just a matter of chiseling away all that dried crud. Now that all the grass is cleaned off, it's time to reinstall the blade. Just make sure you get it on the right way with the sharp edge on the underside. And if all that scraping has exposed any bare metal, it's nice to protect it with a spray of oil. As the last step, I remove the old spark plug, pour a teaspoon of clean motor oil right into the engine, and reinstall a nice, clean, shiny new spark plug. Then I'm going to pull the crank, distribute that oil evenly through the engine. Put the lawnmower someplace where it's dry for the winter, and it'll start first thing next spring. That's a guarantee. <laughs>